Hello everybody, my name's Ricky. In Sean's Game Academy, we're going to be using Scratch. Now if you don't know, Scratch is a coding platform made by MIT, and it can be used to make some great animations and games. If you've never used Scratch before, then you're in the right place, as this video is especially for those Scratch newbies. So, I'll be giving you a tour of its features. First things first, you don't actually have to have a version of Scratch on your computer. You can just go along to www.scratch.mit.edu and click Create. There are desktop versions, which you can also download from the Scratch site. Let's get started. When you open Scratch, here's your typical view. You have your game area, which is where your game is displayed. You have your sprite library. This is where all of your game objects are kept. And on the right hand side, you have your edit area. And this consists of scripts, costumes, and sounds. All of these will correspond to the sprite that you have selected. Let's go back to the game area. At the top here, you have a couple of tools. You've got this stamp thing, that's for duplication. You have a pair of scissors, and that deletes anything on the stage or anywhere else. And you have these two shrink and grow buttons, and that's just for resizing. In the sprite area, we have these four buttons up here. So the first one imports a new sprite from the Scratch library, and there's loads of cool and mental pictures in here for you to choose from. The second one is for drawing a new sprite. We can now draw and edit a new sprite. On the right hand side here, we recommend using vector mode because it means it's easier to edit the sprites later on. You can also import a sprite that you've saved to your computer. And finally, if you tap this button here, it imports a photograph from your webcam, if you have one. So in this case, it brings up a picture of me and my snazzy t-shirt. Now, if we move on to the edit area, you see we've got three tabs that we talked about earlier, scripts, costumes, and sounds. When you have the scripts tab open, it then brings up all these different categories, and you can drag and drop script from here to tell your sprites what to do. If you want to get rid of a piece of script, you can just drag it back to where it came from. You can use the scissors to get rid of it, or you can right click it and tap delete. You can also duplicate it using the stamp tool or from right clicking. This can often be useful to copy script that you would otherwise have to recreate. Down in the bottom corner, we've got the zoom in and zoom out function just in case you've got bad eyes or you've got a lot of code going on. If we move on, we've got the costumes tab. This is where we can edit the sprite appearance. We can also give the sprite separate costumes, and we do this by adding them here, and then we can re-edit them. And finally on the sprites, we have the sounds tab. This is where we can add sounds. Yep, a cat noise. You can also record your own. Sean's Game Academy. Sean's Game Academy. And you can turn up the volume, you can copy and paste, and you can also reverse it. Oh, that's nice and backwards. And finally, these little icons here start and stop your game green flag for go, and the red stop sign for stop. So, there's a brief tour around the Scratch coding platform. Now you should be ready to take on the learning modules. We can't wait to see what you guys come up with. Good luck, and make fun.